Today, health experts echoed the World Health Organization's announcement. Guam is post-pandemic, but the H1N1 virus is still out there. H1N1 is going to be still circulating. It's part of the seasonal influenza. So the panel knows that even with the good news, the destructive power of the H1N1 flu is still strong in nearby New Zealand and India. H1N1 was the cause of two deaths on island and will not be forgotten anytime soon. Mexico City has come to a standstill because of the High deadly fever, body aches, outbreak. cough, runny nose. If you have those symptoms for 24 to 40 hours and you are getting worse. Yesterday, the state announced the eighth H1N1 death here. Mid-April 2009, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention reports the first case of what was then called swine flu or H1N1. The flu has spread across the world and infected over 1 million people. In just three months, 302 deaths were traced back to H1N1. After that, the CDC stopped keeping track. The take-home message is even though the pandemic is lifted, we, continued, we need to continue to maintain the, uh, the vigilance um, um, and to practice prudent uh, protective measures. The lesson learned from this pandemic? Guam needs a lab capable of identifying such diseases. What you mentioned was the reference lab. And uh, we have identified that. In fact, the governor himself is uh, over in San Francisco right now meeting with federal counterparts uh, on multiple different issues, one of which is a needed funding for the uh, building and establishment of a, a reference lab here on Guam. A new lab could quickly detect viruses like H1N1, other emerging threats, or future pandemics, and be able to serve the Marianas Islands. For Guam News Watch, I'm Baldo Besic.